Hi guys, how are you in the name of Christ? It's your girl Crank Hey Karabo. So I wanted to do I know like this is becoming part 18 of this series on skincare, but I figured I should probably let you guys know I've tweaked some stuff. So I just because I have seen results in literally 24 hours, um I figured that I might as well just come and let you guys know the changes I have made. And my skincare is not a lot, it's nothing hectic, it, but the whole uh, regimen that I explained to you guys is still the same. Say hello to my drink, it's morning. Um, that, yeah, mmm, my straw needing drink. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yes, we're having it now. Okay, cool. Guys, look at my skin. I mean, y'all can't lie. Don't deny. I do better than that. Okay, cool. So I have updated my skincare, and this time around, it's not just skincare for my face, but my body too. So back when I was employed, a good nine years ago, almost nine years ago, I get it, I've lost everything. I used to take care of, of course, my whole body from tip to toe. I've always had dryish skin. Like, my, my, my body is weird like that. My face is extremely oily but my body is dry like I don't even know why that's a thing my skin tone is not the same from the neck down as it is from the neck up literally don't know what that's about so I've been very very uh, disquieted by the dryness of my body all throughout my life so back when I was employed I used to purchase body butter from the body shop and it was very very expensive but I could afford to because you know I was working and I would mix that I, I love the body butter on its own uh, whatever the flavor but I always used to add Justine tissue oil just to add a little bit more moisture because my my uh, body was so dry and I loved the effect it kept my skin looking so supple it was so sweet it was lovely right very well so that's what used to be my status quo back then and then of course I um, lost everything uh, and having lost everything I now can't afford anymore to purchase that expensive body butter with the uh, tissue oil every single month so I've been subjugated to the tyranny of dry skin for, on all over my body and it's very disquieting uh, it's patchy well not really patchy but I mean dry dry legs dry chest it just it doesn't look right okay it doesn't look good and there is nothing more negligent of the uh, elasticity of your skin than just leaving it dry the whole body ages the face a lot faster of course than the rest of the body uh, but the whole body ages you know what I mean so if you keep it dry and you don't feed it and whatnot it's ultimately just going to like you know give up on you and if you care about your body if you care about just a, a general aesthetically appealing appearance even when you you work out like when exercise comes into the picture then you gotta you know sort of like make sure that you know as time progresses that your skin also stays looking supple but I've been broke and I have had intentions to go back to using my body butter because it kept me really supple to take care of everything tip to toe so I haven't been able to do that because you know I'm poor but I decided that you know I like I need to I'm still in dire straits and this situation has been lingering for almost a decade I don't know when I'm getting out of this so I can't procrastinate when I'm going to reinvest taking care of my body from the neck down in terms of the skin on it all right I can't I can't procrastinate it and until I like, like I make money again and so I'm able to like afford products from body shop and the tissue oil and whatnot so that I can resupply my skin with the nutrients that it needs um, the moisture that it needs I need to try and do everything now there was a time when I anticipated that I would have to wait for a dermatologist to understand to clear my acne and the Lord gave me a way out of that um, he was like there are ways you don't have to take racadine you don't have to ha you know, basically pay a very expensive guy or girl to clear your skin because I'm gonna help you and he helped me and I've explained that in my previous cons so the Lord you know prepares a table for us in the presence of our enemies and I guess in the presence of those that could also be our friends to show us just how greatly he takes care of his disciples he is the God of small things and of big things and he was like you know like yesterday literally the idea popped in my mind that Gabo, you've been crying you've been lamenting that your skin is like super dry and your aqueous cream is not doing anything though pretty much the product that they buy in the house that I use as well it's not doing anything for you and you could wait however long it is that it's going to take for me to take you out of this thing to moisturize your skin but time is ticking and you're not that young so you know take care of yourself now take care of yourself now come up with ideas you have pioneered a skincare regime you know from the drinks that you drink and what have you that has cleared you from the inside out and also topically like helped you to pop you've pioneered that 
So how about you pioneer cheaply, that is. Uh, how about you pioneer cheaply too, then something that's going to make sure that, you know, like your neck is take, uh, catered to, your chest is catered to, your arms, your legs, um, your, the rest of your body is catered to. You had plans to try and see if you can't deal with the stretch marks on your buttocks uh, back when you were still employed while you can't afford a laser, you can't afford scar treatment, you can't afford any of that. So find a way around it. Like, see, you know, experiment, show the people that it is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings or mankind is to search it out. So search out my glory and all of creation and advise, counsel, show people what it is that I do for my children when they trust in me. I give them top-notch celebrity type body treatments, if you want to call it that, on zero budget. So come up with something. Think. Just think like a concoctioner or a, a some kind of a, I don't know, like a pharmacist or an experimenter, a person that is trying to come up with a new hair product because you want to become a hair like mogul or whatever. Think like one. Come up with your own products so that you can show people what I've done just from using the knowledge that I have given you so far. So I've sought things out. So yesterday when I was, um, what, what caused me to come up with this? Uh, oh yeah, I, I had just like drunk my dr drinks um, in the morning and I was moisturizing my hands. Yes, I was moisturizing my hands after using the bathroom, right? And I was just so disquieted with the fact that after like 20 minutes of moisturizing my hands, it's like they're dry again. It's like literally nothing happened. It's like I didn't put anything on and I was like, this stuff is gonna age my hands prematurely. I already wash dishes like no man's business. And so all that drying out from the laundry, uh, not laundry, but the dish detergent, is going to cause me to just like, yeah, you get my point. Like my hands are gonna age and I mean somebody gotta put a ring on this. Like I don't I'm not trying to look ninety-eight on my wedding day in my hand, even though my face is youthful and it's been very frustrating. So I started to apply uh tissue oil, the Justine not Justine, it's not Justine, you all know cell tone. The tissue oil I started to apply this tissue oil as you can see the bottle is empty and I'm gonna explain to you why last time the bottle was all the way up to them okay I started to moisturize with aqueous cream on my hands regular good old-fashioned aqueous cream the Diskim aqueous cream I, I like would moisturize my hands after using the bathroom and washing my hands with soap and everything from there and then having recalled how dry my hands get after just 20 minutes of application and then they start to like look all like you know disheveled I then went in with the tissue oil. I've been going in with the tissue oil for the past like maybe three days. I've been applying the tissue oil. I've been just dabbling a little bit of tissue oil after the, the aqueous cream uh, for my moisturization efforts off my hands. And that has, it made an improvement. It, it, it did. Like the, it was like significant enough for me to notice. Just the, you know, it's like my, my hands woke up. It's like they were dead and somebody defibrillated them, made them like Lazarus and they came forth. So I was like, whoa, like, you know, yeah, whoa. I was looking at my hands. And so I was like, whoa. I'm looking good here like and just from using the tissue oil over three days over and above the aqueous cream and then the Lord was like imagine then what would happen if you did it for your body if you did it for your body right so usually my hands are slightly damp because I've just washed them so they're like you know humid moist like you know to the touch uh, that then I apply the moisturizer and then I, I put on the tissue oil and the Lord was like well Karaba, you've been crying that your skin is dry your your body skin is dry you you've been crying about that and you sleep on cotton sheets and in the morning when you wake up it's even worse because all the, the sheets have just drunk up your your body's moisture well honeybee like lady chica check out what's happening to your hands like these hands that are always washing dishes ka, sunlight dishwashing liquid that strips all the moisture and is trying to take away the youthful swagger of your hands okay so how about you do exactly that like come up with something girls come up with something like come up with something for your body you know what I mean like, like time is of the essence over here this is how I'm preparing a table for you in the presence of your enemies so I was like okay well I also noticed something dear Jesus I noticed that ever since I, I did let you guys know that I abandoned I threw I kicked to the curb benzoyl peroxide because I was dissatisfied with it it's quite drying and I don't want my skin to be addicted 
addicted to it. I've been taking it ever since I got off Racketane like a good 11 years, 12 years ago. And I, I did not want to carry on with it. I, I, I didn't want to go into my old age still reliant on Roacin, not Racketan, sorry, but benzoyl peroxide for the clearing of my acne. And benzoyl peroxide, how it is that it interacts with the sun is not really good. It can age you in and of itself. It does not, it does not have, you know, aging properties, but when it's, when you mistakenly find yourself in the sun for a little too long, it does exacerbate the aging process. And I don't have money, guys. Things like uh, sunscreen and whatnot, I can't afford to buy them. So my sunscreen is the, f like my UV protection is this. It's the fact that I am in a shaded, sheltered environment practically 24 hours a day. I don't drive out, I don't go out there and so have the sun coming into my car window um, regularly. I only go out literally off the yard, perhaps once, sometimes even once every month, perhaps even once every two months. That's how... Um, immobile I am because of my living conditions so my sunscreen for the past decade almost has been the fact that I don't go anywhere I'm always indoors I'm always in these conditions all right <clears throat> uh, so for those reasons I have not really invested in purchasing sunscreen because of the fact that I'm always shaded I am always shaded uh, and it is expensive a high quality sunscreen it, it doesn't come cheaply so for me it's like okay one day is one day I'll get sunscreen like one day but right Right now, I'm relatively covered. I'm relatively covered. I am relatively protected from the sun. Plus, I've been ducking the sun all my life. It's a black, dark girl issue where it is that we duck the sun because we are insecure about a melanated state. We have always just been getting mocked and teased for being darker than the regular girl on the street. And so, therefore, I have just had a, a self confidence induced and cultural bias induced sun hate all my life like i've been ducking the sun like all my life so that i don't get darker um therefore avoidance of the sun is not something that i am particularly a a averse to i do it quite naturally it comes easily uh, to me because of the fact that i can't stand um you know like yeah i don't want to get darker okay so i, I still it, it, it you know even after uh, accepting and embracing my dark skin i still old habits die hard i, I still avoid the sun like everywhere you would never see me sunbathing you would never see me just hanging out with the sun just blasting in my face i will always find a shade somewhere just to get away from the sun that's just been my behavior all throughout my life because of cultural bias against our girls so that helps and i think it's helped i think it's also contributed to the state of my skin uh, later on in life because i've been ducking the sun and i still duck it and it turns out that all that ducking was actually good in the long run it worked out for me okay <clears throat> cool beans uh, and banana peels so that whole like naturally just kind of behaviorally shaded state that i am in because of the way that i am because of my behavior i am always shaded i don't when i do get enabled in some way financially invest in sunscreen i i, just, I don't it, it's like pouring it's like investing in in a yes I, I recently like i struggle to record videos when i'm driving or when i am in my vehicle because there's no way for me to put my phone and when i went to china uh, town i was tempted to purchase you know that car uh, camera holder the car phone holder that you can record your yourself hands free and it just like stays stable and doesn't fall or whatever it's like a ring light but for the car yes i was tempted to buy one it was only 150 rands uh, but then I was like, but how frequently do you drive out, Garabo? It's going to make your life convenient in the one or two days in every two months that you do drive out. It's 150 bucks. Uh, you use it to buy something else. Get some more ringa. Like, seriously, buy something more important. So I decided not to purchase it because of how infrequently I drive out. So whatever challenges I might have with recording while driving or recording while in my car, it does like, they're just for that one day and then we move on. For the better part, I'm always recording in here so whatever okay uh, plus i'm getting an, a camera that's not coming around fast enough yeah so therefore to purchase sunscreen for me would be like purchasing that thing it would be like purchasing that car dashboard like phone holder 
type thing because you know like yeah I don't need it because I barely use it and the one or two times when I am exposed to you know driving being out there uh, type of establishment thing I'll just have to take the calamity that comes with the inconvenience at the time but it's just a one-off or a two-off thing in every second month and every uh, two months whereas um, you know Moringa is a daily consumption so how about you just purchase rather what you need instead of what you don't need yeah so sunscreen to me is like that I'm barely ever in the sun ever like I'm always sh uh, sheltered and there are of course one or two days in a month every two months perhaps even where I am in the sun and when that happens I try to like shade myself with my hand or the car flippy mabobby thing okay that's a power cut the power will come back on because we've got solar panels yeah etc I, I try to you know duck it as much as I possibly can if the sun is like blasting into my car window when I'm driving it's like okay I only drive once every two months so like really and truly I'm not purchasing the product so that that's my explanation with sunscreen so everybody don't come at me for not wearing some sunscreen I'm broken devastated and broke uh, I don't have money but if you do you should incorporate sunscreen by all means into your um into your skincare okay yeah so very well having uh, spoken all that then I just want to show you guys what in the world and the heaven is the new cons um, change I changed something in my uh, skincare in order to you know aid my body and I also changed something on my face because I witnessed something I observed something okay I told you guys that I stopped using benzoyl peroxide yes that's how I got talking about the Sun uh, benzoyl peroxide apparently when it mixes with the Sun it wreaks havoc or with any kind of heat it wreaks havoc and I also have quite a lot of actives on my face and I wanted to reduce the number of actives on there so the one uh, active that I took out was benzoyl peroxide leave-in one leave-in active I mean I've got another one salicylic acid but I wash it off because it's in my uh, face wash right cool um, so I wanted to use the tissue oil on my face because of the fact that it's got all these anti-aging properties moisturizing properties um, uh, skin lightening uh, by lightening I mean like dark spots removes yeah it's got all these things and I wanted to like continue in that fashion but you know money uh, not money sorry but I don't have have benzoyl peroxide now there is a um, I can be very long winding when I explain stuff but really I'm getting to a point bear with me I have discovered that there was a time when I was doing oil cleansing on my face really like during the time when I was really struggling to clear my acne I tried just about everything that was counseled me online and among the things that I tried was oil cleansing there are people who swear by oil cleansing and then there are doctors and um, dermatologists etc and even Ray lay Janes and Joes on the street that will tell you stay away from oils like don't don't you dare bring oils near your face even in the slightest so during the time when I was doing oil cleansing on my face the first day or two oh my goodness like my skin was just popping it looked so radiant it was so glowy like that whole glass skin dewy shiny look they say radiant a luminous look that comes with basically yeah you get my point like when you're like nicely plumply moisturized I wanted that look you guys and during oil cleansing I got that effect in the parts of my face that did not have acne and I was like this is my perfect skin I really like it so I saw that oil you know infused into my skincare routine helps to bring that dewy look forward that plumpy youthful lovely radiant you look like the, the, the you know the Lord kissed your skin from on high lovely yeah I liked it but it caused another issue on the side for me I started getting these bumps these small little bumps that kind of had like a little bit of like you know pussy acne they, they it was not your regular acne they, it, yeah whatever it looked like rash but it was obviously acne because there was sebum in it you could see it okay and they were gathering around my cheeks especially my uh, right cheek this is my right I do a mirrored version when I upload my videos because I prefer that that the way that I look in a mirrored way um, type thing but this is my right right 
on the right side on my cheek there were I would just get these bumps and I would like whoa so no matter how uh, low in committed in, in its comedogenic scale the oil was or even if it like grapeseed oil you know these oils that are generally safer for people with um, oily skin and no matter the comedogenic no matter the comedogenic score of the oil I still got these bumpies and I was like what in the world is going on here um, I do have oily skin but oil cleansing is like attracts like basically all the studies that I endured through oil cleansing I, I found out that this is how it works I went into you know the gauging of the mechanics the biological explanation for why it apparently works I got into it and all that jazz and it didn't work it did it did it made my skin all radiant but it gave me an acne situation that I didn't understand because it wasn't like the acne that I was used to um, if you know what I mean guys let's move to the next part and we'll continue to explain this because this is information that Christ has used to heal a sister okay next part might benefit you